Hello, Mr. Pratt. I am Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Isis Odonias, the Rattler Battalion Commander. I'd like to welcome you back to Mojave High School for our 2021-2022 JROTC Program of Accreditation, or more specifically, our Continuous Improvement Briefing. As the Commander, my job is to supervise and lead the battalion following the Army values and prepare the cadets under me to be good citizens. Before we continue, I'd like to address why me and the Poly Briefers will not be wearing masks, and this is so you can hear us clearer. Every group here has also taken a COVID test that has come back negative and the mask will only remain off for as long as we brief. Are there any questions regarding what I've just said? If not, can please move on to the next slide. We kept our mission statement in mind while conducting this project presented here on the slide to motivate young people to be better citizens. This mission statement contributes directly to the project by motivating our cadets to live up to, live up to the Army values in and out of the program. That being said, when talking about cadets who do or do not participate in uniform wear, we are testing their integrity. Are there any questions regarding this slide? If not, can you please move on to the next slide? Before we go any further, I'd like to introduce my fellow staff members who are involved in both day-to-day -day operations of the battalion and the planning of our continuous improvement project for this year. The Battalion S1, Cadet 2nd Lieutenant Melody Katz. Battalion S4, Cadet 1st Lieutenant Corrine Barrientos. And finally, the Battalion Operations Sergeant Major, Cadet Sergeant Major Erwin Mendez. This concludes my portion of the briefing. Are there any questions regarding the slide or any before it? If not, I will be followed by the Battalion S1, 2nd Lieutenant Melody Katz. Hello, Mr. Pratt. I am 2nd Lieutenant Melody Katz, and I'm the Battalion's Administration Officer, or the S1. As an administration officer, I'm in charge of all cadet human resources. I'm in charge of making sure that names, ranks, awards, etc. of each cadet is inputted into the gem system. Aside from having the opportunity to be a staff member, here are some of my personal accomplishments. Next slide, please. How did we get here today? At the beginning of the 2019-2020 school year, the battalion commander at the time asked the staff to identify several different possible and continuous improvement projects. Her guide was that all options should support her goals for the year. They came up with five, all shown on this slide. Option four was very appealing to the group because our school just changed to an online grading tool that requires all students and parents to check attendance and grades as they are inputted into the system. They decided not to pursue option four because the school has a similar program that has been successfully increasing enrollment. Option five was also appealing because passing the Nevada State High School end of course examinations is going to be a requirement for graduation and we have many cadets struggle to pass all the examinations specifically in math and science. We chose not to pursue this project because the examinations are still in development and are not a requirement as of now. Next slide please. Instead, we recommend option one, shown on this slide. Because during the 2019-2020 school year, we only had about 70% of cadets on our mind, there was a lack of communication throughout the battalion. With cadets on our mind, there can be improved communication with events and uniform wear. Remind is a free app that you can access both on phone and school assigned Chromebooks. It is not only cost effective, but also able to be used by anyone. With improved communication for uniform wear, more cadets will be able to be aware of uniform days, which are graded events. This can improve class grade, which affects GPA. Next slide, please. In, partic in particular, our project supports the JRTC mission at Mojave High School through the JRTC core abilities and learning outcome shown on this slide. Next slide, please. During the 2018-2019 school year, there was a decrease in uniform wear down to 70%. Many cadets said that they forgot the uniform schedule and therefore got a bad grade for the event in their class. Only about 10% of cadets were made aware or were able to recall details pertaining to events going on within school and JROTC. Cadets agreed that having reminders of events before the day can increase the amount of cadets that may participate. Next slide, please. 
The continuous improvement project's main goal is to get cadet participation in Remind and uniform wear to 95%. This concludes my briefing. Are there any questions? If not, I will be followed by the Battalion S4, First Lieutenant Kareem Barrientos. Hello, Mr. Pratt. I'm Cadet First Lieutenant Kareem Barrientos, and I'm the Battalion Logistics Officer, also known as ES4. As a logistics officer, I'm in charge of supply as well as inventory of the supply. I'm in charge of making sure cadets have uniforms and accessories such as awards for their uniform, as well as working with the S1 to input that information into jumps. I'm also in charge of preparing supply for events that go on within the program. Other than gaining the privilege of being a staff member, some of my accomplishments include being Color Guard Novice Team Commander, as well as being a recipient of the Daughters of America Revolution Award. Are there any questions? If not, could you go to the next slide, please? Moving on, our continuous improvement project started in the school year of 2019 through 2020. The idea was to find a better way of communication to increase the amount of uniform work, as well as the overall participation within the battalion. Cadets had trouble remembering uniform days as well as PT days and other events. As the idea of Remind presented itself, we used this communication app to increase the percentage of uniform wear and better communication across the battalion. In the beginning, only 70% of the battalion started to use it. By using Remind, we were able to put information out more efficiently and effectively, which also improved uniform wear. Uniform compliance arose from 70% to 78%. Are there any questions? If not, next slide, please. Our benchmarks began along with the project itself in the school year 2019 through 2020. We had 98% of the battalion complying and using the app, which expectedly increased the percentage of uniform wear to 92%. Within the second semester of the year, by having a majority of the battalion using the app, we improved our way of communication, which furthermore improved cadet participation within the battalion. By the new school year of 2020 through 2021, the usage of our mind dopely decreased due to the circumstances given. With virtual classes caused by the pandemic, classes were taught online, which typically meant because we were unable to do certain things, not much information was put out during this time. Uniforms were not issued, so there was neither an increase nor decrease in uniform wear. Coming into this school year, 2021 through 2022, the usage had increased again to 94%, along with uniform wear to 96%. By using the Remind app, we further increased our communication across the battalion and got information out more effectively, which increased, which increased cadets' participation in uniform days. After coming back to physical school, Remind was an effective way to not only communicate better, but refocus the battalion back to how it was pre-pandemic. Are there any questions? If not, next slide, please. The graph represents our analytics of cadets wearing uniform and cadets joining Remind throughout the years. Throughout the first semester of the school year 2019 through 2020, approximately 70% of the battalion was on Remind and only about 79% wore uniform. During the second semester, however, those percentages increased. Remind participants increased by 20% and uniform wear increased by 29%. By the next school year 2020 through 2021, the pandemic affected our numbers. In the first semester, only 80% of the battalion was on Remind, but by the second semester, it increased to 87%. Due to virtual classes, uniforms were not issued, therefore the percentages of uniform wear stayed the same at 0% throughout both semesters. During this school year, we had an increase of percentages in the first semester alone. The percentage of cadets were on, who were on Remind was at 94%, while the percentage of cadets wearing uniform was at 85%. Second semester percentages are still pending. Are there any questions? If not, next slide, please. The leadership throughout the years have implemented different strategies to increase uniform wear throughout the battalion, which soon became the overall plan. Some of these strategies include having uniform wear on one designated day. Instead of having uniform wear on different days with, school, with the school schedule fluctuating every week, we've decided to have one specific, specific day, Wednesday, for uniform where and whichever company has that JRFTC period on Wednesday will wear a uniform. Another strategy is to award cadets a personal appearance ribbon for no missed uniform wear. Cadets who are rewarded will continue to wear uniform to feel the pleasure of being rewarded, for which it will also encourage, encourage to others to do so as well. Making uniform wear an assessment grade so that cadets understand how important uniform wear is was another strategy made. We've also made it a habit to remind cadets verbally during the class period and virtually on the Remind app to help increase the number of cadets participating in uniform wear. Are there any questions? If not, next slide, please. Continuing from the 
last slide, cadets will also receive spot-on promotions for wearing the uniform constantly as well as wearing it properly. Another strategy is using the number of cadets within a company to help delegate honor company. The company with the most uniform wear will most likely win honor company, along with possible certificates directly from the principal for consistent uniform wear. Our idea is to reward cadets for participating continuously and doing it properly. Are there any questions? If not, next slide please. Within the program, no cadet does anything without receiving recognition for it. That being said, cadets have many forms of recognition when wearing their uniform properly and when asked for them. Cadets receive new uniforms at the beginning of every school year as well as arcs and ribbons for how well they wear their uniform or just how well they participate in the program overall. Cadets have the opportunity of receiving Cadet of the Month based on their actions within the program. Those who have participated well in the program for as long as they've been in JROTC may receive the sports letter for JROTC, as well as being mentioned on school news and having not only the recognition of the, the program, but the school as well. Are there any questions? If not, next slide please. Although uniform wear is one of the more important parts about being in the JROTC program, we struggle to have cadets wearing uniform participating in PT or other events. Communication was another struggling aspect, but with our continuous improvement project, we might not only better the battalion's communication, but better the cadet participation and cadet uniform wear. Within three years, we've increased uniform wear within the first semester from 78% to 96%, and within the second semester from 92% to 96%. With that being said, this concludes my briefing. I'm open to any comments, questions, or concerns. If not, I will, I will be followed by the battalion Sergeant Major Operation, Erwin Mendez. Hello, Mr. Pratt. I'm Cadet Sergeant Major Earl Mendez. I'm the Battalion's Operations Sergeant Major, and I work together with the Command for Command. My job in the Battalion is to help our company stay informed about everything going on throughout the week, as well as informing the instructors anything going on within the companies, or anything that the companies might need help with. Here on the board is my job description, as well as some of my accomplishments. One of my major accomplishments is enlisted for the Army National Park. Today I will be closing our continuous improvement agreement. Next slide, please. These are some of the reflections that we have learned from conducting this communication project, such as that we need to remind the cadets constantly about any upcoming events as well as the uniform. I will give you a, a second to read over this slide. Will there be any any comments, questions, or concerns regarding this slide? If not, we will please move on to the next slide. We have also learned that this project has caused increasements in our battalion, such as in our mind app participation, overall grades, and attendance assignments. And to our true main goal regarding this continuous improvement project, we have seen a major increase in our uniform wear. Will there be any comments, questions, or concerns regarding this slide? If not, will you please sponsor the next slide? These are some of the recommendations that we have maintained or improve our communication within the battalion. A recommendation that we think is very helpful would be to enroll parents in our main app. This way, they have a way of knowing what's going on within their companies and for what the student or cadet will need from an everyday basis. Will there be any questions, comments, or concerns regarding this slide? If not, will you please watch the next slide? Here's what we plan to do to keep our battalion and help in their group. An idea that we have would be to help our cadets and having more of them enroll into our mind app. So that they could help other cadets remember, remember any special days or any events going on. Therefore, it could help us have more cadets in our mind app and more participation without many cadets forgetting about it. Will there be any comments, questions, or concerns regarding this slide? If not, we'll please go on to the next slide. This will conclude my reading. And
will there be any questions coming to the judge regarding our briefing? If not, this will be it. Thank you, Mr. Power, for your time and have a great day.